Right, well, good morning. Little coffee time. <laughs> You're supposed to do the thing so that we can just clip. <laughs> I meant to ask before uh -oh. we started the video, what are we going to be talking about? Oh, I thought we'd talk about relieving the crick bottom. We are? Hold up. <laughs> well, kind of, but... When? Um, well, we're in search. Search we of. Are... Want to talk about that today? I didn't know we were going to. <laughs> she don't pay no attention. You want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> she gave me those up. We it. talked about not talking about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. We did. We did. We're going to touch on it, but we're not going to give no clues. Okay. Well, we ain't getting rid of the crazy. I'm letting you guys know I am still loving. Oh, my well, they don't know class. because they haven't seen the I know. video yet. These I know. things are. But we have the light. Look at that Star Trek, man. We have a re review video coming out. Well, these vests. These vests. And they oh, are man. And then. Amazing. It's funny was when we were doing the, the video on these, you know, because they sent these out to us. Dude, I never, man, I've never been a vest guy till now. Mm -hmm. Man, this thing is like wrapping an electric blanket around, man. You, and it's, uh, well, the thermometer right outside, because we're sitting down here in the cook shack at the kitchen table. But it, right out the door here, that thermometer says five degrees. It was below zero this morning. And then over at the cabin, what did I tell you, eight? Uh-huh. Yeah, so yes. I don't know if that's a thermometer problems or uh could be just a, just a difference in the what the weather yeah. is nuts, yeah. man. And we've had what we figure out about four months of winter so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did not expect to, uh, and man, they, for the next here, I'll just show you, man. You'll tell us. Yeah, I, I tell you all about it, man. What our weather's going to be for okay, the next ten get, days? Man. It is uh, not good, you know. And then you know they're messing with the weather all the time, so you really can't trust any of it. Mm. I don't got a message for all oh, six degrees it's saying on here right now. Mm. So that one outside the door might be more accurate than the other. Mm -hmm. So you want to look at it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that crap. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, I only really watch like today's Friday. Mm -hmm. We've got grandbabies will be here in about 15 minutes. Yeah. But um,. I only really watch, you know, I check on the day, today's to see how accurate it is, and she's usually not, <laughs> but I'll watch, you know, tomorrow's, and then I'll pay attention to the third day, but after three days, I did this thing changes so much that yeah. I don't go crazy, but they're calling for 100% snow, and I can't look at the, how much the accumulation or nothing, but I can look at the day, oh my goodness, <laughs> so it'll start snowing, come on, Kai. Supposed to start snowing at eight o'clock and snow all day. I'm gonna let these dogs out, bro. Yes, fast. please. Oh, okay. Ooh, <laughs> what you see that tail you guys, saw that. you guys didn't see that. Man, he's so big. No, we're not. We're talking. We're in the middle of a video, sir. I know you're agitated because you ain't in. <laughs> you guys can't up. see him. Come here. Stand up, dude. Anyway, man, he does this thing and he tucks his head back. He's so, dude, he's so massive. <laughs> What was I talking about? Oh, the weather. So, man, it's dang cold. That's why we decided to go ahead. This was just like a last minute. Man, I never know what we're filming um, from day to day. We just, you know, get up. This morning, man, I have not, you know, I obviously checked on what was going on a little bit, you know, the east and the craziness, but we watched mushroom videos all morning. <laughs> Way more peaceful coffee time that with everything going on. It's crazy. So now back to the uh leaving the homestead. Whoa, man. Don't ever say it like that. That almost gives me anxiety. I never leave the homestead. <laughs> Crick bottom, man. Crick bottom. The homestead words got <laughs> over <laughs> overrated. <laughs> overused. <laughs> yeah, overused. Yeah, we're not planning on selling the Crick Bottom. And I won't tell you where, I won't tell you how. I'll tell you what, looking for properties. Because this place, we just got, well, I got the hand. Does that mean shut up? No. Oh, okay, just checking. Um, we've got 
What did you completely threw? Squirrel! You completely threw me off. Where was Just I? Just by putting my hand on your knee? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, how we found this property oh, not, uh, and how you would find a piece of property in Idaho these days that you could afford... I'm trying to figure that out because I've actually had, for, you know, for some reason, man, maybe just the craziness in the world. I don't even think I mentioned it to you. I've had probably a half dozen people, um, some in Florida, Texas, uh, East, you know, say, hey, how do you find some property in Idaho? Well, man, good luck. Good, yeah, good luck to you. You know, that's. We've had such an influx of people coming into the state that they have bought up. You know, Every little tiny Did they piece. Even, and they even think they can come in here and offer you so much money that you'll just move off the creek bottom. Dude, I don't care how much. Dude, I wouldn't take a million dollars for the creek bottom because. Where would you go? Where, no, well, to replace. You could buy some. You know, you yeah. could find something for a million bucks. No, no, but no problem. could I replace the creek bottom for a million dollars? Oh, hell no. You ain't going to find, mm -hmm. you know, this probably, that's probably about the going price for, you know, the amount of acres I have mm -hmm. in the, you know, the creek and the wells and the, you know. So, that man, not only that, man, this place, you know, man, I love my creek bottom. So, when I'm talking about us leaving, you know, I'm just messing with you. But we are, which we've wanted to do forever, is... Have another place. Um, I want to get closer to Muskrat, man. <laughs> no. But to have another place. Um, no, Chris. No. You know, smaller. You know, man. And to go in, you know, after 10 years, over 10 years here, to go in on a place, you know, to get a place. And I'm, not, I'm talking, you know, I don't even, you know, half acre or acre. When you say place, do you mean like a house? I don't know. Do you have one? Did you buy no. one? No. <laughs> so I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. It's a piece of land. Yeah. That's so that I can start it all over again. All, just because so <laughs> because young, I'm you bored. So man. much energy. You know, I don't have all these chicken houses and crap to build out here. Animals to take care of. Just no some purpose. more than anything, it would be a, a cabin, and then. We are also looking. I ain't telling you if I'm not looking. Other than closer to uh, muskrat, it'd be about your only clue. And I ain't talking in salmon. It won't be that close. I do like salmon, though, man. I got family there. But we want a uh, lower elevation. So. I've got, I've got dark and snow. <laughs> so the snow might have something to do with this whole thing. No, we've wanted to. So come springtime and mushroom hunting. <coughs> Are your plans going to change? Oh, man. Maybe. No, no, I'm still. Still. You were in on it, too, man. I know, but we said we're not going to talk about it. Oh. And not, then here we go. We're not going to talk about Well, we here doing? goes that hillbilly. I know. <laughs> we're talking about yeah, it. But I ain't saying where. Anyway, man. Guess Miss Kitty don't want to talk about it. So what do you want to talk about now? Now you're on the spot. Well, I'm you were the one that that picks the subject, so no, no Chris. Well, let's talk about what do you want? Garden? Oh, hey, let's go out and garden. Right now, we man, were, I'm just saying. We were so close to oh, being dude, able it was to do stuff out so, there. I wanted to throw myself on the ground so bad. What do you mean you want to? You did. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh. Oh man! Yeah, a lot you know. of snow came down yeah. yesterday. And then I had some snoop comment about because uh, I said that it was uh, what, did, what did I say yesterday? Disgusting. The snow was disgusting, and had some gal comment. If you think the snow was disgusting, then move from Idaho. Or why are you in Idaho? Well, I'm in Idaho because my freaking blood's been here since the first man, I, and I love my Idaho. I want to know the the typed words there is that the tone of voice that was exactly what she sounded like to me man <laughs> <laughs> and for, uh, at first when her name was debbie something man and at first i thought it was debbie our debbie, our debbie? yeah so if it was sorry <laughs> well, i don't know i was not in the mood <laughs> so let me tell you what well you can like the snow but the um, Did i, I the don't like the snow. and the um the yeah it, i'll tell you it, man I've, I've talked about this before. exhausting talked about this before i grew up you know 
Part of my life in McCall, Idaho. Man, when I was a kid, man, six to <clears> ten <throat> foot of snow was pretty dang common back there. We used to sled off the roof. Talked about it a hundred times. Well, because that dog wants to go. But, uh, you know, back then, when you're a kid, I loved the snow, man. I grew up, man, sledding and snowmobiling and all that, man. Walking down tunnels that my grandpa dug to get into the cabin and all that. Well, yeah, it was great when you're a kid. Because Grandpa took care of all that, the frozen pipes, the firewood, all the stuff that goes plowing. along, and the plowing, and the, shov the shoveling, all that, man. Grandpa took care of all that, so it was, man, I love the snow. And let me tell you what, now that I'm Grandpa, I don't much like it too much. <laughs> and there are places in Idaho where there's less snow. Our dream, always has been our dream, since out of the motorhome days, is really... In a perfect world, if I had lots and lots of money, is we'd have us a place all the way south down by the Waihees on the Snake River. We'd have the creek bottom. Then we'd have a place up there around Moscow somewhere. Moscow, Moscow. I know. I don't need to hear it. And then, oh, dude, I wouldn't go to Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, man, I love all you guys up there. But northern Idaho, dude, I was born and raised. Been up there, Kitty's uncle's up there. Um, holy crap, man. I it was, has changed, oh man. Changed, and changed. from what, uh, you know, I know lots of people up there, and it is only getting worse. That's old Earl, Uncle Earl's. Say sardines? Yeah, oh, it, by far, man. It looks like they're all out because they got trees, man. Because. The lot next to Uncle Earl's, man, you can go back on my videos when we went up to see Uncle Earl. Oh, I guess it was longer than I thought, five years ago? Whatever it was. We went back, or went up there to see Uncle Earl. And, you know, man, he's got this tree, man. You feel like you're in the middle of, no you way. know, the, the wilderness, man. It's so nice. The lot next to him uh, cut down all the trees. Clear, like, clear cut and now Earl says, man, through the trees, you can just see freaking cabins and houses just all, yeah. all the way around. <sighs> man, way too many humans for yeah. this little bit. Why go to the tr mountains, the trees, wooded areas, and then cut everything down? Yeah, yeah don't exactly. get that. Well, that part I just don't really get. Yeah, but that's no difference than the... I ain't saying that. I ain't going mm -hmm. there. And then I get a bunch of hate mail. <laughs> well, I'll get, I will get at it. I just won't name no certain states or anything. But these folks move here. This is happening right here in my flipping county, too. Mm -hmm. They move here to get away from crap. And then they move here. And, well, like back down there where we were doing it, man, we did it like this. Well, that's what the hell you moved away that's from. That's Man, what is wrong with these freaking humans? Oh, the world has gone nuts, kids. What do you got to say, Miss Kitty? Mm hmm. I don't think anybody wants to hear about daily chores. You don't have no daily chores. You got grandkids coming. I know. <laughs> That's her daily chore. Being a grandma is the best. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, but I like being a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> we got all three of us running. The yep. Katie and Tim's going to have their teeth worked on. So we got them for a couple, two, three hours. Man, like I said, why I did this video right now, because, man, with my vest, it would help. But, dude, it is cold. flipping cold. And then the crazy, that's one well, of the things. if you had yourself some heated socks. Yeah, dude, I need some heated socks, some of those gloves. Heated I don't know if I ever John's finished that. Car has got the same brand. Heated thing. Long John's? Oh, I don't know. That'd be nice. great. Yeah. They got all kinds of stuff, man. So, you're going to check that out. That video will be coming out here for too long. One of the things I was going to mention with the weather, which it's actually came down, because last night it was saying it was going to be 41 or something today. Today. But today it is supposed to get up to 38. The sun has came out. So we're going to go from zero or below to close to 40. And then tonight, it says overnight low 14, but that's what it said well, last that's night. What said last <laughs> yeah, so that's horse crap. <clears throat> and then tomorrow it's actually supposed to be 42. Overnight, low 25. And then the next day is the day it's supposed to snow again. And 36. Don't cry. Dang, man. Dude, it was so thought out. I was just getting ready. Like I said, I was going to do a Mountain Junkers video, man. It was all receded, man. The, uh, out there were my power wagons sitting, the general. 
Oh man, I'm getting coffee things. It's starting to upset me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it is what it is, man. So that's why I'm sitting in here right now because I got to go redig out some wood. Mm-hmm. We have went through so much firewood. And all you cronies that sit in your, your chair, your uh, recliners, not out doing the wood, I don't need to hear about. Well, you should have done this. You should have done that. Well, let me tell you what. I added another wood stove this year and thought I doubled up on the friggin' on the wood. Mm-hmm. Basically, I was about two cords shy of it, which actually, that's probably about, uh, all right, so maybe you guys are out. You got a couple more cords. <laughs> actually, what it snowed. That? It snowed, Way. and I wasn't yeah. able to get up and get more yeah. wood. Because yeah. the first snow that we got was in October. And we probably, um, at least two weeks longer in the start of the wood burning season. We oh yeah, absolutely. Well, in October, at man, least two at least I would say more earlier. like a month. You know, mm-hmm. to actually be burning them twenty four seven. Right. Yeah. You know. Right. And then you know we have wood permits in our area. I get people ask me all, all the time. Muskrat says they don't. Well, he has wood permits, but they don't have a season over here. We have a season, man, and you can cut wood until November thirtieth. Well, I'll tell you what. And I think I took you guys along and went up as far as I could. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, we did that other video where we went up, man, and it was mm-hmm. completely mm-hmm. snowed, and those loggers had uh, been plowing. Yeah. But, yeah. man, we were done getting wood at the first part of November. There was mm-hmm. so much snow, there was no getting. And a lot of times, wood. we can go on Thanksgiving and get firewood. Well, that was Tim always wanted to make that. Yeah. Let's make this a tradition, man. We're out there. Man, I remember, that was probably seven, eight years ago. Yeah. But we are out, you wouldn't know the area, but I mean, pretty deep in the dang woods, mm-hmm. not a lick of snow, and we're in t-shirts on Thanksgiving Day cutting firewood. Mm-hmm. That's my son-in-law, man. I was like, we need to make this a tradition. I'm like, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Snow. <laughs> Guess we ain't going. <laughs> Roast that turkey. That was fun when we went out there and did that. You rub me again? You trying to cut um, me the off? The kids are, should be Bye. playing at any time. Just All right, man. Just a little... Uh, Check in. Guess Miss Kitty didn't want to talk about what I want to talk about. <laughs> but I won't give out any hints of finding property in Idaho. I am going to be changing it. Uh, I got figured out myself, man. I, you're not going to find property and buy it the way that I did this place mm-hmm. 10 years ago or 10 plus years ago. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you that. It's going to be a different ball game, so... If I do get it figured out, mm-hmm. after I buy us another piece of property, then I'll let you know. But until then, and then, I was going to touch on that. Every time that we do talk about it, when Miss Kitty uh, <coughs> remembers that we talked about it, what we do, don't look so serious. At me. We will, uh, be, you know, talk about, man, we could do this. You know, and then we got some things going on with opening a store and, you know, the Mountain Junkers end of it. We weren't going to talk about that either. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Were we? Uh, it was kidding. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, then we'll be talking about it. And, you know, man, you start feeling good. You got, got these plans. And then we're all, well, depending on what's going on in this crazy world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because who knows, man, we might be in a cave. But you can't stop making plans, and you can't stop Absolutely. Living. You, you got to live, man. Going. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> do what you got to yeah. do. You know, and I don't like doing do all those, man. I've had so many comments about the, uh, um, you know, videos. Well, these are a downer compared to, I had one comment. I'll tell you about it. I forgot to tell you about it. But, uh, do dude, from really a long to, time. I'm Yeah, but I'm talking from a long time subscriber, uh-huh. you know, friend, whatever you want to call them. Long time. And he's, oh, I miss your videos. You do this. You're just jumping on the bandwagon to make money and all this crap, dude. Stick in your butt, dude. If you're not concerned about, if you think that I'm doing these videos for money, you should see my check, dude. Because let me tell you what, there's a lot more time that goes into these than the money you make. She was wanting me to stop many times. Stop what? Stop the, doing the videos. All as of far it. as, yeah, all, all of videos. it. All of it. Yeah. You know, and not. The, time cons- the t- amount of time it takes. 
to put the videos out. I can be selling a lot more and junk and making a hell of a lot more <laughs> money. And there ain't a lot of money in this. Right. No, sure, Doug and Stacy and some of the big We're huge not Doug ones, and you know. Yeah, I'm not Doug and Stacy. I'm not right. uh right. um whoever else, the big channels, you right. know. That's dude, I've been doing this crap for ten plus mm -hmm. years and I didn't even monetize for the first five or six mm -hmm. years. So there's not a lot of money in this, but my point, the comment that I made to him is if he doesn't like those type of videos mm -hmm. and doesn't care about what's going on in this country, dude, we're in trouble. What's going on in this country, then uh, he's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Because, man, if you, you know, then I don't want to make negative videos. No. I don't want to talk about the stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you don't think that uh, people need to open their eyes at what's going on over there in Ohio and stuff, if we weren't making these kind of videos, it would not be on the national news right now. Right. All right. It's not that kind of video. Okay. <laughs> Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It helps keep the lights on. The home fire's burning. And them propane tanks full. And we need to do that. Yes, we do. <laughs> We've been burning too a lot. A lot. Make up for the wood. Oh, yeah. Because that lazy-ass hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the links below and the eBay store. and the. Oh, and I just put a link. I actually was watching BP. I love BP. I was watching BP's uh, show the other day, and he'd put... It was the first time I'd heard about it where you can get on and buy us a cup of coffee. Buy me a cup of There's coffee. There's a link down below, man, so you can buy us a cup of coffee. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. So, and what else? That's it. An eBay store, all that junk. Oh, t-shirts, man. Mm -hmm. Great way to support the Absolutely. channel. Oh, the, <laughs> the whole, oh, 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 There's nothing wrong I mean, with home. It did. It's just gotten so many. There's just, I ain't even there. Good Lord willing. And them cricks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. There you